forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, this is a large tree on a car. There's a car underneath there. and This is from Winnemac, courtesy of Terry, of the extensive damage that we saw there last night, especially on the north side of town. And some of the streets uh, early this morning and last night were completely impassable. The entire top of this tree has been broken off, and you can see all the large branches kind of littering the street. And this is some pretty amazing uh, imagery as well. These are hundreds of acres of corn completely flattened in Jasper County from the very strong winds of last night. Now, thankfully, no severe weather today. That's actually down here to the south in southern Indiana, southern Illinois, Missouri, and Kentucky. But the front is about right here, and there are a, a few little spotty showers on that front. You can see this little line right here. Right there it is. So I can't rule out an isolated shower this evening, maybe a very brief isolated thunder shower, but that would be it. The severe weather is down here. You can see all the warning boxes and the watch box in effect. Temperatures in the 80s now, 82 Logansport, 84 at the station. It's 83 at Mary Ann's and Remington, and it's 84 at Crawfordsville. Dew point still a little juicy in the 60s, but these are going to drop pretty rapidly into the 50s by tomorrow and Thursday. No skies, partly to mostly cloudy and I, and right now and darkening up just a little bit. So isolated shower to this evening. A few spotty showers and thunder showers kind of bubbling up tomorrow along a secondary cold front and also with a lot of cold air as you move up in the atmosphere and the daily heating. Also pretty windy tomorrow from the northwest, but a beautiful July 4th on the way. High rest future cast does show a spotty shower or two this evening. Otherwise, kind of a partly cloudy sky overnight with lows in the lower 60s, but tomorrow the clouds bubble up. It gets windy and a few spotty showers and thunder showers will pop during the heating of the day. Even at 530, a few around before they fade away tomorrow night, but still some low clouds left over as we drop into the upper 50s. But check out Thursday. That's two o'clock in the afternoon and that's towards the evening and even overnight. Skies mostly clear. Tomorrow, low 70s at Winnemax, 76 Lafayette, but 79 Crawfordsville, 77 Frankfurt. Similar numbers on Thursday, but will be abundant sunshine. 76 Lafayette, 75 Fowler, and a brisk north wind up to 25, 30 miles an hour to boot. Independence Day looks very, very good. Nice light breeze from the northeast. 54 at 7 a.m., 71 at 11. If you've got a cookout, in the afternoon, 80 for the high and for fireworks at 971 and at 11 down to 65 degrees. Looks very, very good. 84 on Saturday, though, starts to warm up after 50s in the morning, 86 on Sunday. And then the heat and the humidity come back in Monday and Tuesday. Highs pretty close to 90, lows in the 70s with more storms as we continue the normal to above normal rainfall pattern right into July and we're going to heat it up too. All right, but that near term forecast looks pretty darn nice, uh, doesn't it? Looks about as good as it gets for July. Anyway. Yeah, give the AC a break. All right.